The past, the present, the future. This is Friday Night Fright. What the planet is listening to. Hello, this is Ian Austin. This is Friday Night Fright. And welcome to day two of Shudder Mania 2019. Today's movie, The Devil's Rejects. A family of murderous maniacs are pursued by a violent sheriff in Rob Zombie's brutal sequel to House of a Thousand Corpses, which I have not watched. When the Firefly's home is raided, three members escape. Who are the Fireflies? In Rage Zone's murder of his brother, Sheriff Whittle has bounty hunters clan down, leading mayhem and murder across state lines. Why not? Eager to improve on his malign debut, which I have not seen, Zombie enlisted the greatest horror icons of all time, including Karen Black, Danny Trejo, and Ken Forey, and an ace documentary cameraman to bring fury and precision to a screwed up story. Essential Zombie contains strong language, sexual scenes, violence, and gore. I am not very convinced, but this is Shudder Mania Day 2, and I'm going to be watching the movie after, and doing a recap review of it after a sponsor section. So I'll see you in a few minutes or minutes. Or- oh, you guys, you guys, I, I just watched The Devil for Egypt, and what a great practical joke you guys all played on me. This movie doesn't exist, right? This was a fake. Someone put a lot of effort into making a fake movie, because whoever it was, you've succeeded. You've done an amazing job. Because this can't be real. This can't be an actual movie. It can't be a sequel to another movie. Like, it's a parody. You've made a parody. Someone's made a full-length parody with a bunch of actual actors and Rob Zombie's wife. And got licenses to... It's an actual movie, isn't it? Oh, God. I can't even keep this up. This was, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst movie I have ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck? That's all you can really say about this movie. I can't go in spoilers. So I have no idea what happened in this movie. It's just gibberish. In every conceivable regard, this movie is gibberish it doesn't make any sense even if it could make sense it would make sense it is a love letter to movies like texas chainsaw massacre but it's a love letter by someone who doesn't understand movies like texas chainsaw massacre because here's the truth rob zombie i'm going to peel to your bare nature we're not meant to root for Leatherface and his family. We're not meant to root for them. That's the entire point of the movie. We're meant to root for the teenagers. They might have flat characterization. They might not be very good actors. But we're not meant to want to see them be beaten to death and eaten. Even Franklin with wheelchair. We might put I might put fun on him. We, people I've watched it with. We might put fun Franklin. We don't want him to get eaten. And even if we did, say we did, right, say we were rooting for the Devil's Rejects, and by the way, Rob Zombie, that's not how you should say the title, and if you're going for a creative flourish like Quentin Tantino, you've chosen the wrong person to hitch your horse to, that's all I'm saying. But his thing, Rob Zombie, if we're meant to root for your characters, make them likeable. Some small way, make them likeable. Because I think what he's going for here, I think what he's going for is... They're bad, but cops are also bad. I think that's what he's going for. But his finger up zombie, if that's what you're going for, a uh, quick bit of advice. Don't have your main characters be unrepenting rapists. I'm just saying, it's kind of hard to think, well, they're the lesser evil when they're literally raping people. Like, what? what what's he thinking? Seriously. Like, I've no idea what logic... He has, because, firstly, okay, firstly, Mrs. Zombie can't act. I'm just going to say it, she can't act. She's a terrible actress. And that's fine, that happens, you know. But at least if she's terrible, work with her. Like, this is, like, what, the third movie he's made with her? Like, know what she can and can't do. 
Like, you know, I hate to sound cruel, but this was really bad. Like, I, I feel dumber for watching this. I feel like part of my soul, part of my joy of cinema has been destroyed. I really feel that way. I feel like it's an hour 50. It felt like it was four hours long. There were four points it could have ended, and I wish it had ended, and then continued. Um, you've got a bunch of exploitation actors like um, Sid Haig and Ken Forey, and I've no idea why they're in this movie. I've no idea. I mean, maybe they thought it would be a career reinvention. Maybe Rob Zombie is the nicest man on the planet. Can't make a movie, but maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe he's convincing. Maybe he's a snail salesman. I don't know, but all I know is he can't make a movie. I mean, yes, this is a movie. In virtue of it's being finished and it's been put on Shudder, but that's not necessarily sign of quality. It's finished, it's on Shudder, it's been released, it, everyone got paid, I presume, uh, or shared in profits or whatever. So, in that regard, it is a movie, but at the same time, it's not a movie, because this is just a bunch of shit thrown together. It's exactly what we criticise movies like Justice League and Batman vs Superman for, in that it's not a movie, it's a bunch of scenes thrown together. It's Rob Zombie's greatest hits from a horror movie, but it doesn't have a plot. And I'm sure some of you are saying, Ian, if you watch House of Thousand Corpses, you don't understand what's going on. To which, I'm not fucking watching House of Thousand Corpses. I'm not fucking watching that. I don't want, I never want to watch that. I found this on Shudder, so I'm adding it to Shudder Mania, but... Oh my god, so bad. Like, let's start with the visuals, okay, shall we? Visuals in a movie are meant to a story. You're not meant to watch them and be thinking, I don't know what's going on. You know? They're meant to tell a story. Okay, so this movie has no plot. Fair enough. You know, the the idea behind it is cops are chasing devil's rejects. Cops are evil. Devil rejects are evil. And they're going to have a collision at some point. That's fine. You can work a bit of that. But the visuals don't tell the story. You're meant to be telling the story using visuals. Rob Zombie's not doing that. It's like... He's in love with as many gimmicky cinematic visual constructs as possible, but he doesn't understand how to use them. For example, I was watching Wolf of Wall Street earlier on, and that movie has so many scenes which aren't shot in a very fancy way on, on, knowingly, because Martin Scorsese knows that you have to be able to follow what's going on. Rob Zombie doesn't care about us following what's going on. He just wants to make a movie which feels like it's... I don't know, maybe a movie that feels like his music. I don't know, I don't listen to his fucking music. You know, and look, I'll put it this way. I respect Rob Zombie for making it. Clearly he thought, horror isn't what I want it to be, so I'm going to make a movie. It's fair enough, you know, and then make a couple more movies and make him profit and... Then they give him Halloween, and it's all like, fair enough, you know, if they're going to give you money to make movies, then make movies. All I'd say is make good movies. This is shit. This is really shit. And I don't feel, normally I feel bad for saying that. I'm like, no, I don't in this case. This is rubbish. Like, this is actually rubbish. Like, you have a cast, except for Mrs. Zombie, of people who can act. And you give them nothing. You give them absolutely nothing. The characters are the same at the end as they are at the beginning. And I know it probably shrug off. It's like, well, it's a horror movie. Who cares? We, we should all care. You know? I knocked Teeth earlier. But main character and Teeth changed throughout those 90, 100 minutes, whatever. She changed throughout that screen time. She did bad things, but we could relate in a way to her, like her struggle. I can't relate to any of these people. And you don't always have to. You don't have to like main characters in the movie, but you have to be able to form some connection to them. I guess Rob Zombie would argue, oh, it's, it's family, you know, everyone's got family. You know, you'd do anything for your family. But it's just, this isn't played knowingly, you know. When Tarantino wrote Natural Born Killers, there's certain knowing wink-wink to it. This isn't played wink-wink. This is played s straight, which just leads to a lot of incredibly uncomfortable scenes. And I, uh, I'm, 
my, but my big bugbear is that this is it's it's exploitative but it's not trying to say anything like Wes Craven made a lot of exploitative movies back in the day but they were trying to say something this is just I, I just, it's just that's not a score for it, where you're not saying anything, you're just making shit, you know, and, and it's okay, you don't always have to have a message, sometimes you can make shit, you know, you can just make a movie, it doesn't always have to be about something, but if that's the case, it has to be enjoyable, Michael Bay makes nonsense movies, but stuff like Rock is enjoyable and competently made, this is not competently made. So, hey, shot the main, you're off to a great fucking start, you know? Devil's Reject? I mean, I was critical of Teeth, but compared to fucking the Teeth? Compared to Devil's Rejects, even Teeth is a fucking masterpiece. Like, Teeth had moved Whiplash, but at least it was trying to play with convention bit. This isn't playing with convention, this is... I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I want to make my own version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's it. And that's not bad on the surface, but in the execution, it's horrendous. So, my conclusion, don't watch The Devil's Rejects. Don't watch it. There's no point. It's terrible. It's really bad. If you want to watch a rogue zombie movie, go watch First Halloween. It's exploitative and nasty but the last half an hour or so is just a remake of the original Howie in fact so in fact don't do that don't do that just watch Howie 2 on Shadow just watch fucking Howie 2 safe safe to bother Howie 2 is not a great movie but compared to this it's a masterpiece so this is day 2 of Shadow Mania Devil's Rejects I hate it I regret watching it and I feel I've lost something but hey what can you do? I'll be back tomorrow with... I um, don't know. I have no idea what movie I'll be back with tomorrow, May 3rd. Woodshock? I don't know. Some, something on Shudder? I'll, I'll advertise in advance on Twitter. But until then, remember, life is beautiful.